So what I want to do, I really want you to know that there are alternatives to the traditional unicompartmental knee replacements or total knee replacements. There are alternatives to living in pain. We want to talk to you and, and we want you to know that there are processes out there that help regenerate tissue and then there's processes and surgical procedures that we can restore normal healthy tissue. So the alternative is no longer total knee replacement, metal and plastic, or be in pain. The third option out there is to try a restorative or regenerative medicine process and we can get you back to a normal, healthy, active lifestyle without those procedures. I spend a lot of time on my feet. I'm a teacher and a mom, and whenever I get a chance to myself, I'd like to go for a run. But my knee was really starting to interfere with my life. Sometimes when I would go running, my left knee would really, really ache, and it would be to the point where I was limping everywhere. When I would teach, I wouldn't be able to walk around my classroom nearly as much as I'd like to. Um, there was one point where I was at a kid's birthday party and I was helping clean up toys and when I got up, I could not extend my leg. My leg was stuck. I had a cartilage transplant and four months later, I could still teach, I could still run, and I didn't have to put my life on hold. I feel great. I haven't had one of those really excruciating knee pains that I would have prior to the procedure. Um, I'm actually, I feel so great and I appreciate my body again so much more for what it's able to do that I find myself running again, I'm exercising again. I'm doing more now than I was doing, you know, two years ago um, because the knee, pa knee pain was kind of holding me back, but I feel great. Regenerative medicine is where we use products from, from either the patient or from a donor that helps to regenerate the normal healthy tissue in, in say a knee or a shoulder or an elbow. But regenerative medicine kind of has two focuses right now in the world. One is what's called platelet-rich plasma, and that's where blood is drawn from the patient. We do it right in the office. The blood is placed in a centrifuge, it's spun around in this machine, and a certain layer of that blood layers out because of the centrifuge, and that's a layer that's really rich in plasma. So we call it platelet-rich plasma. In that area, in that sample of blood, there are growth factors that stimulate the body to start the healing process. So in a severe tennis elbow, severe plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, rotator cuff tendonitis, you can inject that under ultrasound guidance just in the right spot and you've added to the body this big boost of the natural healing process and it says, get in here and start healing. And that's what it does. It starts the regenerative processes through your own natural body's ingredients. I've always enjoyed an active lifestyle. I've always enjoyed fishing and hiking, doing things with my boys. I uh, really enjoy riding my motorcycle. But about 10 years ago, I injured my knee and resulted in a surgery. They put pins in. Uh, but even after that surgery, is the active things that I did still resulted in pain and swelling. Uh, so I, I didn't enjoy them near as much, and I didn't do them as near as much. Uh, after the cartilage replacement surgery, it, things really changed. I could do those things and I found I wasn't in pain anymore. Uh, I could even do things that I never thought I'd be able to do before. Uh, for example, I went snow skiing about 10 weeks after my surgery. So the surgery itself just really changed things for me. I enjoy those things much more than I ever did and, and I don't have the pain and swelling anymore. It made a big difference in my life. The other option is what's called stem cells. Now stem cells can be harvested from the patient. We actually take it from a pelvis and it's spun around and treated and that can be injected back into an arthritic knee, for example, or into an arthritic shoulder. And the idea is those stem cells have not differentiated into what they're gonna be. So they are in the environment of a knee, they try to redifferentiate into a cartilage cell or a synovial cell, depending on what the body needs in that area. The other option is to have stem cells that are donated from a, uh, a donor source, and those stem cells can be injected into a joint as well. Again, the idea is to try to restore or regenerate the body's normal, healthy environment in that knee so that it can heal itself. Baseball is very important to me, and without it, it would have been very life-changing. That became a very real possibility to me when I heard about my surgery. After I injured myself, it hurt every single day. Um, it impacted every aspect of my life. My parents talked about it with me every day about what we were going to do, and it just it became my life. But with the cartilage transplant, I was able to get back to baseball. If you've been told that you need a unicompartmental knee replacement 
or a total knee replacement and you don't think you're ready for that, let us develop something for you and a plan just for you. We'll tailor it for your needs, your activities, your expectations, your lifestyle, and see if we can get you back to those things without a total knee replacement or a unicompartmental knee replacement as the first alternative.